first part of this is a meeting, a team meeting. Oh, oh man. No. Oh, God. Oh, oh, I gotta no. go. Who do God. we kill? <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm going to put it out there. Um, I think we should put on the chopping block. The food podcast. Yeah, I think uh, I think that, I think so I think I, I, think I, think I hear herpes flaring up for Nick, uh, so I'm gonna go. Um, I gotta go get go. my donut. <laughs> Wait, Wait, hold on. You can Nick's hear herpes my herpes flaring up, so <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> Wait, so Nick's the herp is flaring. Up. How do you well, know this? I hear it. Oh God. You hear his it herpes like flaring up? Like yes. no, that's just the seat crackling. I can't it tell sound you like guys. Hilton? God, gross. <laughs> so, anyways, um, wait, real quick about Paris Hilton. Her wait, podcast why? is hilarious. Her podcast, what? she has a it's podcast? really good. Her, it's really good. I, What's it I called? Just, plug, plug, plug. Judgment, very her podcast and then Bobby <laughs> Lee's podcast are like two of the, okay, mo- well, the main podcasts I listen to nowadays. Bobby Lee's Who, are who's Bobby is really Lee? good. Oh, He's from Mad guy. TV. From Mad TV. The Asian guy. He's the guy. shorter uh, Asian guy. Like in the later seasons. There was a yeah, taller yeah, he, Asian guy. How, how, like, <laughs> question mark? <laughs> how do you not know Bobby Lee? He was from Kicking It Old School. Uh, <laughs> Before my time. I don't know if he is or not, but he seems like the, oh, he no. seems like the kind of person that would have been in Malibu's Most Wanted. I don't know if he is, but he, he seems like He's, he should have been. He's not. I can tell you that for okay. a fact. I like how this team meeting turns into uh, let's talk Bobby about the Paris Hilton, Hilton podcast. Paris Hilton. <laughs> and you know what the funny thing is, is that all Your Todd said was, up. I'm calling a team meeting, and the first thing is, <laughs> let's fucking get rid of that pot. Like, <laughs> yeah, <what's the> <laughs> well, well, well I wish Michael was here, because Michael always predicts that I like to kill podcasts. Um, no, so, you like to kill though. channels. Yeah, that's true. No, are you, are you going to kill a few of them? I'm going to kill a few. A few. Uh, uh, food podcast I mean, did not make hey, the cut. To be fair, Ranting Media used to operate under a completely different name. Yeah, Retro's. Or, uh, what was this? <laughs> well, not Retro's. Right. What was that? Retro's. Um, no, retro <laughs> oh, Press Start Gaming. Oh, Real Reporters. <laughs> no? Who? No. Oh, I know that. Yes. Are, we under, are we not entertained? Yes, I know that. Right now. There's three podcasts or three well, shows. There's two. <laughs> there's two now. No, no, no. What I'm trying to say is, is there's three shows that could be killed. Oh, there's Pitmaster's Craft, which I totally forgot that. Was At this thing. point, it was just a pilot that never <laughs> did anything yeah. past. That. Uh, did, did y'all have fun that day, though? News? Yeah, we had fun that, that day, and then there. we never, we never got back together because our schedules suck. Schedules and then and um, Food Podcast made it to 18, and then Nick Cage Podcast made it to 23. So technically, that one didn't make it either. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, so both of those are gone. Or all, <laughs> all three of those are gone. Uh, but then I, I'm getting rid of one of the two main shows. Oh, that hurts me. Uh, Retrospects <laughs> is officially canceled. <gasps> No, bum, bum, bum. <laughs> that hurts me less. Wow! Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. Uh, it, for one, Jim is a sad boy, and he he felt <laughs> bad that he always tried to make his friends talk about only retro things. Um, <laughs> you know the problem with retro stuff uh, is it doesn't make street. new stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, like, Wait, hold, hold on, Todd. Jim, what? did you know this was happening? My idea. That was his idea. Okay, his idea. I've, I've, I've known about this. The whole We've been time. talking about it for a while. Oh, that's yeah. great. Damn so, it. where's yeah. Nick? Where's Nick so he can react? Ah, well, uh, no, good. Nick might uh, muted himself. I yeah, know. So that's Nick, what I'm saying. Nick's herpes is flaring. We don't. Want to hear that. <laughs> uh, basically, Jim felt like. Again, he didn't want to pressure his friends into talking about retro all the time. Also, there were episodes where like one person was the subject matter expert and the other four just kind of went along with it, kind of like the Pokemon podcast. But See, that's which, why you should that's why you should keep the Nick Cage. There there's two experts there. No, 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 no. 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 And there was Nick total Cage, engagement. Hey, hey, Nick Cage died in a fire. He's dead. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah. His, his spirit buried. lives on in everyone, man. He's buried. In <laughs> he that never really dies. Pyramid. That entire he's podcast dead. I was listening to you guys do live, and I was like, "This." I literally messaged Todd, and I was like, "This is either going to be 
our biggest success ever <laughs> or, the or not. Failure. And if it is, I'm going to be so fucking pissed. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, this, they got 23 this, views without being promoted. So I, no, I got promoted on. The oh, you day. fucker. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I promoted on day seven <laughs> or six. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, so we got three views after being reported. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Like I even said, it's going to outlive super, uh, super scary skeletons. Spooky, <laughs> scary skeletons. Spooky, Spooky scary, scary skeletons. And I was that like, one I will never the, die the, because the, somehow this was the, well. the success of that story of that podcast. Not only was a runaway hit. But he can't even say the name correctly. No, so here's the thing about Spooky, spooky Scary Skeleton. No, no one can. No one it can. It wasn't popular when it originally came out. No. All three of them got 100 plus downloads last year. Yeah. I don't know what happened. Probably because they were searching for the song. And then <laughs> that, and that is just uh, that's just great SEO at work. So or, really. Or that, there's that or just people really wanted... Um, some erotic Dick Cheney fan fiction. I don't now, know. Now, Jeff I, is partially right. SEO does have a point because originally Neat Trash's title was You and Your Score Suck. Yeah. There was no mention of anime. And I switched the name. I wrote You and Your Anime Score Suck. And it instantly jumped up. Uh, yeah. The food podcast was doomed with my gigantic title. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that didn't help at all. <laughs> pizza in the morning, pizza in the evening, pizza at supper time. When pizza's when pizza. on a podcast, you can have pizza in <laughs> Hey, but it did have the most downloads in the quickest amount of time. It did. It did. It and really then did. Uh, Professor Justin's Pokemon lessons was up front with that's what it is. Um, so this pilot will be to replace Retrospects. Um, the easiest way I can say it is uh, we, we just want to be able to talk about games. Uh, so hold the fuck up. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hold the fuck up. Wait, 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 wait. So What's I'm bringing back Press Start Gaming. Press Start Gaming! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> what the I mean, fuck? I mean, are we, are we going to talk about Hoop and Stick? <laughs> yeah, we can talk about whatever. Oh my oh, right. god, it's my old logo too. What the fuck? Oh, so fuck. I tried to like go on Fiverr and download and have somebody make a new one, but then I didn't care enough. Hey, uh, by the way, uh-huh. we still have a hat file for that. If you guys, you know, oh. hold on. Actually, I'll be. I wore the you. hat the other day. I still think I have all the raw uh, intros and outros. And, oh, I do and, too. And, well, okay, Retrospects was using them. So we yeah. started. Yeah, we no, started no, no, not using the MP3s. I think I actually have the raws. Oh, ooh, yeah. So ooh. I, I'll go search my hard, like my backup hard drive later. Yeah. Dude, so like so. Oh, Jim, I, mean, I used to edit the podcast a month or so ago, a <laughs> month or two at the. Well, it's more like three now. He he asked if he could use the old press start intro oh, it because it because it, 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 it fit. It made sense for retrospects because it was a yeah, very a, a retro picture. thing. And then as Jim was like, "I'm going to go on hiatus," I was like, "Oh, he's burning out." So I was talking to him. I was like, "Okay, so is it?" You don't want to do retrospects anymore. And we talked about how, oh, yeah, again, we were putting people in a corner. Uh, so at that point, I decided, let's just bring back Press Start Gaming with the branding and start from scratch. So welcome to Press Start Gaming version two, episode one. Uh, <laughs> woo! I don't know why I've decided to do this and do it on a podcast and well, do so it streaming. Well, well, we need to talk about the most pressing game of all time, Pokemon Snap. Oh, um, absolutely. Let's go. Oh, my God. <laughs> right end of this. No uh, explanation for me. No, nothing. Okay. Good. So, <laughs> let me. Who are you again? <laughs> so Hold Jim... the fuck up. A moment of silence for retrospects. Hold on. And the moment's over. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Jim. I'm just going to uh, do this real quick. It was a good run. Let me just take over. Oh, hey, who knows? knows? Maybe in a year or two. Retrospects will be back. Retrospects I was going to say, back. like, well, well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, can I can I give my explanation? Yeah, yeah, sure. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so yeah, everything Todd said is, is correct. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> wow, that was Todd a short explanation. Todd is wrong. Todd, no. 
Todd, let me just update this in real time, dude. Just give me, sure, give me a second. What was that podcast where you, where you did some you did some graphics thing in real time? Uh, it was a Harry, oh, we were talking oh, about that Harry, Harry Potter, Potter Go game. I think it was, oh, yeah, it was, yeah. It was definitely a press start gaming episode. That's so funny. Uh, I have that somewhere. So okay, so here you're you beautiful. I guess it was because we did twenty episodes of retrospects, yep. mm-hmm. which is phenomenal. Um, Thank you, Arm. Appreciate that. I mean, um, I'm, no, I, no, like for real, like for for real. No, I, I, I know, I know, I know. Like, I, like, how do you come up with so much old shit? Is is really? Yeah, I like old shit. I can. <laughs> and, I, and dude, I have, I, I have a list of so many ideas well, of episodes. I like still that have I'm older than you, Jim. I probably remember it just like it was yesterday. Shut up and let me explain. Sorry. So. Yeah, I, you know, I, I thought of doing retrospects uh, in, I think it was like May, June, or July of last year. Like, right when, like, we started realizing, like, we're not going anywhere anytime soon. Um, and, you know, I thought it would be fun uh, to get together with my friends, people that ne- didn't necessarily already be part of ranting media, um, to get to, to do something with, you know, Andrew, Ed, uh, Nick, and, and to an extent, Justin, uh, who is not here tonight. Um and talk about talk about wow. something that wow. I was into uh, at the time, or, you know, retro games. Something that I'm into, um, and we had good episodes. I thought we did some pretty great stuff. I thought we talked about some cool stuff, um, but it, it became. It, it seemed like you know, I, I and I don't want to assume film, but it seemed like more of an obligation, or more of like we're we're just filling this quota for Jim or something like that. And the, you know, I don't like being looked at as like the main person of anything. Um, so about three months ago, I got a new job and it's been, it's been overwhelming and I won't super deep into like my own mental health. Uh, I don't care, but I'm sure it would bore the shit out of everybody, but it has been dog shit. So I took a hiatus uh, and I, I told Todd, I'm like, I don't know if I want to do retrospects anymore. I, I didn't know if I wanted to do any podcasts anymore. Um, but we kind of toyed with the idea of bringing back Press Start Gaming. That way, if we want to talk about retro games, we can talk about retro games. If we want to talk about new stuff, we can talk about new stuff or E3 coming up or, or any of this stuff. We're not pigeonholed by me and retro stuff. So if I don't want to be on an episode for whatever reason, any, anybody can literally take over an episode. Um, and, and we talk about anything they want to, um, it's all of our show. It's not my show. Uh, so, uh, press star gaming lives and, uh, RIP retrospects. Retrospects That's is it. fun. I, I, I got to play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles a whole I had lot. I had a blast with it, blast with it. Cause it's just, I got to do research on things I, I probably wouldn't have done research on. Like I, I prepped for, uh, a Sega master system episode and a turbo graphics, um, 16 PC Engine episode that, that you know, maybe we'll do down the road. Special uh, editions. Special editions. Or yeah. if we still want to do side quests where we talk about, like, yeah. shit oh, we yeah. like back oh, in the yeah. day, we can still do those can still be things. It's still like a gaming term. Um, you know? It's just, right. this, just, this just unbounds us from anything specific. That way, if somebody who maybe is listening that loves retro games, if we start on a you know, what are we playing this week? You know, and then we spend 45 minutes talking about Mass Effect or if I start talking about Ease 9, uh, you know, or, or, or any of those types of games, oh. they're not getting upset like these are all new games. Or if you know, we're press our gaming and then we only talk about retro games, it's like, what the, talk about something new. It just, it lets us talk about the fuck. Yeah, like, let's just talk about something new. So Persona 5, guys, let's talk Stop about it. <laughs> Shut the fuck. Oh, so Jeff, yeah, let's true. talk about Just Cause Three. Um, hey, hey, yeah. Hell yeah! <laughs> let's talk about Half Life like Three. Five now? Just Cause Vaporware. So. Uh, so we're gonna try and do this in an orderly fashion, considering we have so many people. But what are we playing? David, go. Uh, Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Yes, let's go. Awesome. We'll get back to that later, Jim. What are you currently playing? Uh, I have uh, a couple. I swear if you say yes. Uh, I am uh, no, no. I'm no, taking a break from that. Say. I'm gonna. I'm Dragon Quest Eleven. Okay. Uh, I, I I told you guys this, but 
I, I just hit the 50 hour mark and I thought, <laughs> oh man, I'm almost done. Nope. And then, and then, and then act one fit, you know, <laughs> over. So, and there's two more acts. Um, so I, I looked up, I, so y'all probably all know this. There's a great website called how long to beat. <laughs> and I looked up like how long it is to beat. And I am the kind of person who does all of the side quests uh, as as well as, you know, the main storyline, just because I, I like to make sure that I'm well powered when facing bosses. And it's like, it's like 160 hours. Um, 130, unreal. according to, for this, for completion. Oh, 130? List. Okay. All right. Uh, so, what else are you playing? Uh, if, if you, if you, well, no, you didn't catch it because I was doing it on my own private Twitch channel earlier. Uh, we were definitely uh, I, it. Last night, and I, I, <laughs> I'm going to do it, the whole thing in one run, on the ranting uh, on the ranting media Twitch page, uh, uh, I've been playing Coffee Talk, uh, which, if you don't know, Coffee Talk is a um, fast paced, high stakes. No, it's not. It's just you, stop. <laughs> you're a you're a barista, and you own a and a night only coffee shop in in this version of Seattle that uh, humans coexist with, like vampires and werewolves and elves and. Imps, all sorts of other things. So, can I just uh, say, Jim? I gotta ask: Was I right about Vampire Boy? What? What? What, were, what are you talking about? Was I right about the vampire when we were talking? When, when what was? We were, what we was there to text? be right about? I was asking if he was a vampire. I thought he was a vampire. Well, yeah, there was no, I, there was no secret about that. Well, I didn't know what the premise of the <laughs> game was. It just, I, I, you said it was a dating sim. I never yeah. said. I said it was not a dating sim. Yeah, I, oh. <laughs> He kept trying to say it's not, but it's obviously it it's obviously not is. A dating sim. I don't. I love um, how I love how David's takeaway from that was the complete opposite <laughs> of everything that the game is. Apparently, that's, that's, like, the, way, that's the way Todd, it works. It's a vampire. No, it's it, it is a vampire. Yes, Jeff. Todd, s- send me that graphic, please. Uh, I don't think I can. <laughs> um, so, coffee talk. If you just kind of like breeze through it, it's like it's like three or so hours. Um, I think I think if you like really take your time to like learn the recipes. Uh, for the coffee, I think it takes more like six or seven. Uh, so, what the hell? Uh, I have a question. Yeah, coffee, milk, done. You, 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 you <laughs> said you're playing the game. Yeah, I have it didn't to make look the like coffee. you were playing it at all. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, looked like the, it looked like the game was playing itself. To be honest, I mean, <laughs> look, you can un- you can make it so that the dialogue is automatic. Oh. But when it comes to the coffee, you make the coffee. Mm. Uh, well, well, and one more thing before I stop talking about coffee talk, which I really have enjoyed so far. I really, I really like it. Um, they're they uh, strictly limited, which is kind of like limited run, you know, games type of type of site. They did a special edition for coffee talk. They only made fifteen hundred, so they they really were limited. Um, it's it's sold out. It was retailing for seventy dollars, um, and it came out. It came with the, the box for the Switch, like the big box. Uh, a soundtrack, an art book, um, like trading cards or something, uh, the whole thing. And I literally was like, oh, that's not bad, but I, I could do that. Uh, but it sold out. And so I went to eBay to look, and it's running for like anywhere between 100 and $200. And I was like, fuck really? that. Really? <laughs> yeah, for a three and a half hour long game. <laughs> it's like if you try and find the physical editions of like Firewatch, they're very expensive. The Firewatch, po- ooh, Papers is good that's wait, on my list too wait what sold out on strictly run the the coffee uh, strictly talk limited coffee yeah. talk special edition oh special edition oh because the yeah the does it like, switch so does, version still by the one. you can buy just like the game sleeve um but uh there's a there's a giant poster that 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 uh campo santo or whatever they were called uh put out for firewatch uh that goes for like four to five hundred dollars good lord that I, I want so bad because it's so cool again. Campo Santo is um, the Firewatch people, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're they're not a thing anymore. I don't they're think Valve. they're a company anymore. They're Valve. Yeah. Okay. So uh, I, I monopolize everybody's time again. I apologize, nope. uh, but that's what I've been playing. You didn't. Uh, I'm gonna skip Jeff because he's apparently working on something for now. Uh, Kevin, what are you playing? I am playing Pokemon cards right now. Okay, we're going to talk oh about that God. in a bit. So I'm going to skip <laughs> hey, you. Hey, yes. And TikToks. There you go. Uh, Ed, Ed, what are you playing? 
Um, I actually haven't been playing this month because I told Andrew and Nick what my May is going to be. Oh, oh, it's such it's a good It's going to be May. Yeah. Well. It's, it's going to be anime. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, I still hate it. <laughs> I still love that you hate it. Uh, no, so basically I've just been watching a bunch of anime thanks because of Neat Trash. Yeah, which will be to... back uh, early June. Guys, I can't wait to be on it because, man, I was digging through my trash can the other day and I You're really fired. found You're fired. Get some away. neat Get stuff to talk about. That's worse than my joke, man. <laughs> um, yeah, all but, I heard was yeah, Jim's like, trash joke. What? Yeah, like, the, only, the only thing I've really been playing has been like the shit with these guys on Mondays. So, uh, mm-hmm. Did you like Second Extinction? Would you recommend it to somebody else? Um, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Uh, like we said, it just needs more polish. Like the physics are all over the place when it comes to killing dinosaurs. I noticed that. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I mean, the fun factor is definitely there. The bones are yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, because I keep <laughs> telling Andrew bones. that this is the type of game that I do like when it comes to the uh, multiplayer uh, type games, yeah. where it's objective with mobs, not mobs are the objective. Uh, by I, the way, I'll ask all three of y'all since you're here. By the way, uh, Ed, Andrew, and Nick are usually our Monday night stream crew. Yeah, we don't have a name for it, but uh, yeah. <laughs> y'all got to figure out a name for that. Uh, they play just about every Monday, various games. If I told you you couldn't play this game via Game Pass and you had to buy it for $25, would you buy it for $25? Ooh. <laughs> I, I would yeah, when it's on sale, sale. God, if, if it yeah, went down to 20 like is $25 like a sale price and $30 is the normal price I no. don't think so I think $25 no. okay. is its real price alright when it's at 20 then yes Okay. because yeah. I, I have a creed to uphold and I can't be like walking away <laughs> from that hey what's that creed <laughs> huh oh well I mean me I, no it's Nick don't pay full price for shit God damn you, Kevin! <laughs> put it on. Put, on a, put it on a T-shirt. I can see it already. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody got my joke. Yeah. Everybody we got all, it. We, we just we didn't all like it. it. Yeah, we I ignored just, it. I just <laughs> wanted to react to it. That was the only thing. Like you got a half second pause out of me before I I continue talking. So good job. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, like I would say, yeah, play the game. Just don't play with Nick ever. But what are you uh, talking about? What's wrong? <laughs> oh, because he's going to be over leveled. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, but other I, than that, I'm... I would say the the one game you would want to play just to piss Nick off: golf with friends. We have a lot of fun with that. Oh, that was so much fun. <laughs> that does sound like fun. Was um, good. Andrew, what else have you been playing this week? Uh, so. I got a few things. So um, first off, yeah, we did the second extinction, of course, that we we're talking about. But um, I, I've been getting into Yakuza Like a Dragon, uh, which oh, oh so it good. is, it is a, it is kind of following Yakuza Six. Who knew? Justin did. Justin knew that, and I called him out on it. So <laughs> apologies. <laughs> um, so, but uh, I've been playing a little bit of that, and. Uh, mm-hmm. Oh. I just recently. Oh, there's the logo. <laughs> I'm changing scenes mid game. <laughs> so mm-hmm. um, the 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 one that uh, I literally just picked up today that I'm kind of like, all right, this ain't bad. Is um, the VR Crisis uh, Brigade? I believe it's called uh, uh, Crisis Brigade. Yeah, Crisis Brigade. Okay, so basically it's it's Time Crisis. Okay. In VR. Oh. Right. So. Like, I'm intrigued. It's actually um, it because it, it gets the name from like Time Crisis, but gameplay. If you ever uh, went to the arcade and you saw the big machine for Virtual Cop, mm, yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 that's it's a little more on par. Oh, yeah, okay. because you actually ha- uh, have to dodge bullets and stuff. You dodge bullets. You use cover. You know, uh, you can set it to where you have to manually reload your gun. So uh, it, it's real interesting. It's a lot of lot of lot of good ideas were. Like uh, put into that. The great thing I like about the game is that when, because you can in VR, you can actually blind fire. Which yeah, is, yeah. Just stick your gun out and just start like <laughs> shooting. And not many games give you that. And the the only times that I've ever seen like blind fire done is you know cover shooters. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. And, but then it's like, oh, well, you, you still know exactly where you're shooting. It's just very inaccurate. It's like, no, I don't want to know where I'm shooting. I just want to shoot indiscriminately. Do not cut that and, and, and put that on social <laughs> yeah, gonna, media. Gonna like, clip it. Kind of clip it. Everybody clip it now. <laughs> um, but uh, so that one has been uh, surprisingly fun. I and lastly, I did pick up uh, and, and both. I did pick up uh, Crisis Brigade on sale. Okay. Uh, Wait, it's it, on sale today. Uh, currently, at the time of recording, uh, it was on sale, so uh, I did pick it up. Uh, the second one, uh, and then uh, I also picked up on the last Steam sale persona 5 strikers so get ready for another persona 5 <sighs> check <laughs> wait 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 did you did you uh, beat five not, it doesn't matter i've beat five the original <laughs> the vanilla i don't need to beat the royal <laughs> oh so you didn't uh via, uh it's it's on sale on steam by the way oh. uh brigade uh oh brigade yeah i'm two. looking at yeah. it right now but you didn't finish five <laughs> Uh, I finished five, the vanilla, yeah. Oh, so you started the other one and didn't complete it. Yeah, uh, and because and that's... Strikers follows the vanilla, so it doesn't matter. Why are you talking like <laughs> Brendan Wilson right now? I'm trying to make sure everybody gets to the next, you know, part of this show. You know the most upsetting <laughs> part of that is how long did you put in the Persona 5? Uh, it's which one? <laughs> uh, it's over 100 base, hours, all right? Base. <laughs> it's over 100 hours. Okay. And then you started Royal with cheese, yep. and then you gave up on that one. Yeah, <laughs> I, 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 yep. I'm at the end. <laughs> and now you're gonna play Persona Five Strikers, which, according to this, is another 45 hours. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> wow. By the way, yeah, but is it 45 hours story or 45 hours story? Main story, and 35 hours. Main story is just 35, and then main plus extras is 45, and then completionist is 66. Uh, I will say that I'm surprisingly shocked uh, about how the gameplay is. I thought it was going to be like, uh, you know, just a standard hack and slash. There's a lot more to it, so. Every, everybody that I've heard talk about Strikers has said that exact same thing, that like, it's, it's very surprising, like, Everyone, I think it. They thought maybe like like Dynasty Warriors or like high, you know, High World Warriors or whatever mm-hmm, style. Mm-hmm. And it's and it's so much better than that. It is. So I mean, unless you really like Dynasty Warriors, which I, I do not. I and personally don't either. Used to. I <laughs> kind of do. So uh, yeah, that's what I thought it was. And then I looked at more of the gameplay, and I don't know if anybody's ever played this Akiba's Trip. Uh, I've heard of it. I've heard I know of it. it. I think you played that while we were living together, and I saw it some of that. Yeah, and it, it's it's kind of a trippy game, but the gameplay looks similar to that. So I was think that there's a the uh, one where you could change your fighting style. And I saw that you had Drunken Master, and I asked you to do that, and you played for a little bit as Drunken Master. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's a good game, it's a solid game. <laughs> Nick, what are you playing? Uh, I was playing Second Extinction, Deep okay. Rock Galactic. Oh. Nick. Uh, God damn it! So your levels are always higher. He's right? got so many. No, he's got higher well, levels. But if we do it, if we do it, it's a problem. No, yeah, if we, if we, if we surpass him by like ten XP points. <laughs> That's the problem. Is that there's nothing small enough in? All right, in all right. Here's the problem <laughs> <laughs> that everybody keeps like harking on me about and why I'm so mad, but I'm not mad at why they think I'm mad. Uh, okay. The reason is, is because in payday, we've all been playing the exact same missions, ending the same missions, the exact same way. Mm-hmm. But these guys are like 10 XP higher than me. So sometimes they will be one level higher than me. At the end of a mission, there's no missions that give such a small increment that would uh, would result in that. So but if you guys played any payday more than me, I wouldn't be angry if you guys were a higher level than me. The reason I'm pissed is because why is that happening? (laughs) (laughs) Did they find like a collectible or something? 
<laughs> we shot more more cops. Boom. The, yeah. If it's, they it's, found a collectible, that that makes some sense. If I wasn't in every mission that they were playing too. <laughs> no, see, the, the thing is, the thing is, like uh, Andrew and I, we we really know the concept of a snatch and grab. So. Yes. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. You know what? You know I'm what? Sure you don't. <laughs> Todd, to... Todd knows. <laughs> no, no, Todd is exceptional at the smashing ground. <laughs> me, me and Andrew tried teaching you. We tried our damnedest. <laughs> okay, okay. T- just you know, take take it back a little bit. Bronze trophy. <gasps> oh. 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 You know what? Meet me at Second Extinction. I'll, I'll tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, uh, like that's for, funny that you think you're the only one that's been playing fucking solo. Dog water over here. <laughs> 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 you never heard that TikTok? Jim's oh, caught up with TikTok God. memes already. Oh, yeah. uh, Jeff, Mister Photoshop himself or Illustrator, I don't know what you use. Uh, what are you playing? Uh, currently, Just Cause Three, and so depressingly, good. The Last of Us Part Two. Oh. Ooh. So good. Ah. For the first time? Yeah, so I'm going to be honest with you. Um, it took me a long time to work up the courage to play it. And I know that sounds really stupid, but I was just like, every single time I picked it up, I looked at it, I was like, this is going to depress me. <laughs> like, this is going to depress the fuck out of me as soon as I play it. And so uh, I've only been able to play like maybe a couple of hours of it, even still, because I'm just like, this is going to depress the fuck out of me. If I'm, I'm already past... Um, quote unquote, one of the major parts of the game. Um, do you guys know what happens in that game by any chance? Says yeah. Is it, is oh, it the, stu- the thing in the very Zombies? beginning? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I haven't played oh, it. I've I know seen it is. those it, memes. Yeah, it, 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 it is a, it's a spoiler. I'm not yeah. planning on playing it, so I don't yeah. care. Does anyone spoilers. care if I spoil it? No. We okay. We, hey, remember David? we need to put this at the beginning of the oh, uh, episode. Not. I don't even know what okay. series you guys are talking about. Last of Us 2. It's a Harry oh, Potter yeah. offshoot. Oh, yeah. um, I don't believe that. So, <laughs> Hermione is uh, is is uh, sleeping with another girl. That's all I know. Her- mm-hmm. I'm sorry. What? What? Hermione. Hermione. Her- okay. Her- Her- okay. All right. Well, what happened? Her- 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 Nate Rails Dumbledore. Oh my God. All right. <laughs> anyways. All right. Um. Short. Like long story short. Uh, um. Joel like dies beard. very early on <gasps> in the story. He gets Spoilers. murdered. I dropped my water bottle because of that. <laughs> um, oh no, that's sure going to stain. It is. Gets, gets murdered. Um, and the person that murdered him <gasps> is the <gasps> daughter of the doctor that he killed in the first game. <laughs> is that the same doctor Jeff, that you didn't... have to shoot? Like, you can't go past him at all? Jeff, we yeah. didn't agree on ah, spoilers funny. for the first game. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I <I'm Wow>. lied. <laughs> Um, and then also a little bit more of a spoiler you 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 play as that person for like a good chunk of the game so you're not always just playing as ellie the entire time um yeah it's it's uh it's it's gorgeous i would hope so it's running very well on the ps5 i've enjoyed it a lot but it's still depressing i have a fucking ps5 (laughs) <laughs> nah, sorry one, sorry. one day i'll get See, one and i'll play the show 2022 <laughs> jeff the real challenge the real challenge jeff is doubling up on the depression and playing ghost of tsushima then that oh i did that's exactly <laughs> oh. what i did oh, oh. dude oh my God. you are in for some fucking like you need uh, fucking like happy pills all the goddamn time. Right now. Wait, Dude. what? What does Last of Us have to do with the invasion of Japan? No, from no, 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 no. Of Tsushima. <laughs> like, like they're both beautiful, but god damn, are they downers? Yeah, they're depressing as fuck to play. I, I had to take a bit of a. That's that's kind of what happened. I had to take a break between Ghost of Tsushima and this next one. But like, um. I, there hasn't really been any games on PS5 that I've like been wanting to play, so I'm really just going back through my backlog of PS4 games that I never finished. Um, I already finished Spider-Man. So uh, I need to reinitialize my PlayStation. 
Look, just whatever whatever can give you endorphins, and, and you'll make it through. <laughs> Hold on, That's what guys. Just Cause 3 is. That's my, guys. like... <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> so I got a question for you. This is actually very important to uh, PSG. So... Three? Uh, PSG. So, oh. sorry, I got a man in my mouth. Um, so you got So I got a question oh, for everyone on this channel. <laughs> um... Are you guys completionists, or are you like Jeff, where you just rush through the whole game and and end the story? Like you don't care Depends about on the, the extra game. extra costumes or anything. Depends Depends on the first game. off, fuck you. Well, I don't one, rush. I, through, I don't right? give a shit about extra costumes, but. Uh, like I said, it really depends. Like, yeah. Mass Effect Legendary Editions. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and complete everything. Uh, if if somebody handed me The Last of Us, I probably wouldn't care. Now, and if I it's just beat the story, yeah, I'll always do the story, um, and I'll do side quests if they're okay. But I don't like busy work, so collectibles and shit like yeah. the yeah. feathers in yeah. Assassin's Creed. Oh fuck that. God. Yeah. <laughs> no. um, now, like what the... happens if they lead to like a very important armor or weapon? Don't care. Well, what's no. the point of the armor if I've already beaten the story? Right. Yeah. That's the thing, though. So you can collect this stuff before you finish the story. And it makes it easier to play the game. Now, I say that, and I went on some OCD tirade and completed, like, everything in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Jesus oh, Christ. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> I just got bored hmm. one day, and I just start. And for the next, like, two or three weeks, I was just clearing everything on the map. Uh, I don't know why. Now, granted, that's by far my favorite Assassin's Creed game. Uh, really? I haven't played Valhalla though, so that changes anything. Vi- Vikings is um the the Norse one has got me uh pretty hooked right now, but uh Odyssey is a phenomenal one. Yeah, I really enjoy Odyssey. Um Mass Effect, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna do as much as I can. Even yesterday while I was streaming it, I I was getting mildly annoyed at like the scan all the keepers. Yeah, it is. Um, scan all the keepers to to get that one mission early in there. But I'm gonna still try and work my way through the entire thing. Mm. Yeah, I think the last game that I tried just doing uh everything in was Witcher Three, oh. and because I had oh, all yeah, the DLC, that. but it was. I, f- I finished the game and I was doing every side quest and I was like hunting all like all the treasure chests just because they were there. But then once I got to the second DLC by halfway through, I was like, "Nah, I just got to finish this goddamn game. I'm tired <laughs> of it being the only game that I am playing. <laughs> yeah. See, like like uh, like with Nick, uh, I just kind of do a side quests. Quest. And and then just try to finish the game. Uh, I used to do a lot of like the completionist shit until uh, what really soured it for me was Shadow of War. Oh, uh, like, uh, Total War or what is that? No, no uh, Lord of the Rings: Shadow Rings. of War. Oh, uh, see, there you go, Lord Herb of the Rings. Earth. That's that's where you messed up. Again, fuck you, David. <laughs> David, just... never. never somebody, somebody cut know. his mic. Um, but, uh, no, like I, I, I was working on that game. I think I put like a hundred hours into that game and then it gets to that fucking point where it's like, well, you beat the game, but you didn't beat the game. You need to level up more to finish the game. And I was like, nope, fuck it. I'm done. Wait, what? Yeah. User was kicked out of your channel. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> User was moved to your channel. Really juvenile. So juvenile. Yeah, no, David, that's what happens. Is like, you get like, to a wait, point. So, so that makes no sense. How, how are you not able to beat the game by beating the game? Oh, because, because you beat the game, right? And then you got to level up your army to like level 80. And yeah. at that point, your army's at level like 55. Oh, that just sounds like galactic readiness. I would, I would look to three. see... I want to see if I can if I can platinum a game with playing through the game one time, and and it's it's relatively doable and, and like it's missable. Sure, I'll go for that. Dra- yeah. Like Dragon Quest Eleven, I am playing all the side missions, but I'm not like costume hunting. Um, yeah, which is definitely you know make, 
I should beat the game in less than 10 hours if I'm just doing the story, but I'm not even fucking close. Yeah. Well, the, I mean, the reason I bring it up because, like, you know, for example, with Assassin's Creed or, like, right now, my, my favorite, one of my favorite games, Horizon Zero Dawn, if you mm-hmm. start doing a lot of like, I, I, I stuff. I platinum that. Yeah, well, I mean, like, you get, like, the special uh, shield armor and yeah. you get better weapons that make the game easier to play. The, okay, so right. so that game that game I did platinum. I got everything there, yeah. but I also you platinum it. it before I did. Yeah, and I and I did it in like fifty hours. So it nice. like when you're when you're when you have a smaller world and not as many tasks. That I mean, mm-hmm. I was able to do that one. I was able to do uh, Spider Man. It wasn't a big deal to me. It's just like like shit like Assassin's Creed. Well, because Creed you Odyssey. already know where everything is in New York. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> So shit like Assassin's Creed Wait, no, Odyssey. Dude, that's Gotham City. Get over it. Yeah, stuff like like <laughs> Yeah, especially with uh games like um Jedi Fallen Order, it's a lot of the it's you going back doing the same thing. Yeah. And and clearing out a level just to get to another part of another level because you got new abilities. Which that I mean, I'm that's okay a, that's with. A that's a Metroidvania kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> because it's like a Metroidvania, I don't I'm mind that. But David, I like how you brought up uh, Horizon. Is because there's like some super special armor that you have to get after you collect like everything around, like around the world, and then you have to go back to a certain place. But the thing is, uh, like some of the collectibles that you need are only in the areas once you finish the game. Yep. Mm-hmm. So if you go back to do it and then you get that super special armor, what's the point? No, no. Uh, I can't, I can't speak for Ed. I can't speak for Ed, but I I got the, the platinum after I had beaten the game, but before the DLC came out. Same. All right, so uh, the DLC, that's I haven't played the DLC, but Neither that came I. out. Yeah, because that came out afterwards, yeah, you can use that new armor, but I'm saying for the base game, what's the point it, of it no, like it new armor no to make things easier? Um, um, it, I think if you I, went I'm, into a new game plus, if you had it available for I'm the gonna, game. I'm going to correct you on that. You can actually get that armor before you finish the game. Because oh, can you? I, I, yeah, I completed the game with that armor on. Oh, and then I got a new game plus. Fake yeah, news. I didn't. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Objection. I don't, I don't I'm just saying shit now. Yeah, Ace, I got are got. You, are you Ace Attorney now? <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> That's actually one game I do want to like actually pick up. I just don't know where to start. Uh, the, the first one. There's, the only, first there's one. only three that matter. Yeah, there's only three that matter. And you can really play them in any order. You do uh, not uh, need to physical, play Apollo Justice. The physical Japanese Switch editions. But you have to play the Edgeworth. Yes. I don't know. I recently, um, I don't know. I've been really interested in playing like mystery games in general. I know that's not a mystery game. Amicom Detective oh, like Club, I Spy? baby. No, not like I Spy. Amicom Detective <laughs> Club. Yeah, like, I just like, came out. Uh, uh-huh. Anyone else besides Jim know what a Famicom? No, I I've yeah. seen it. You yeah, wait, we're on Wait, hold on. Oh, we know what it is. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Whoa. You are you're not, you're, you, I apologize. You're, <laughs> David. You, you are correct. David. What? You don't know what a you don't know what Famicom is? I was born during the Famicom era. Of course I know what a Famicom okay. is. All right. But you so, wouldn't have known it as a Famicom. So I'm gonna I don't say know yeah, actually, hot shit is uh I would have. The last no. it wasn't until the last like maybe five, seven years. I didn't know that the Sega Master System and Sega Genesis were two different consoles. <laughs> that's I, you know, that I think that's forgivable. Though. I, I do think that's. But forgivable. good thing that in, uh, Retrospects is dead because oh. we don't have to talk about it anymore. Oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I have a book that might interest you guys. Um, let me I see. I'm going to see if I can find <laughs> yeah. it. Grown. <laughs> no, it's a book, so I doubt it. Uh... Well, I mean, you know, it, it, it might, it might, uh, do you, you want like Will Wheaton to read it for you? I do. <laughs> I wouldn't mind. So console wars. Uh, oh, I want yeah, Gilbert Godfrey to, to read it for me. <laughs> I didn't oh, want to read that, Jeff. Yeah. Console wars by Blake J. Harris. Um, I just started it. It actually now starts. Let's talk about the wonder swan. 
that was an episode I had. That was an Cover episode Cat I had for what? <laughs> what the <laughs> hell? Oh, Nick, that was. Brutal. They made a movie about this, didn't they? Uh, I think they're adapting it into a movie. Wait, I just they had, had an a idea. Pretty good Netflix uh, mini doc series. Uh, that's called... what it was. That's, yeah, yeah, that's pretty. Oh, good. Oh, is it? It's called no. Console it's, Wars, it's... isn't it? No, it's called High Score. It's not really about the console. Oh, oh yeah, High Score Girl. Oh, stop it, Girl Two. <laughs> this isn't your show. Damn it! <laughs> this is all of our show. <laughs> I'm, I'm playing into my bit. This is my character now. <laughs> but yeah, on, on, on the well, our stream, I just saw that so Retrospects <laughs> is no more. Is because I was on a phone call, so I didn't hear a lot of it. <laughs> oh, yes. What? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Nick, Retrospects is dead, and uh, Uncaged Heat is dead. No. And, and Food Podcast. <laughs> no, no. See, see we're, we're talking about the ones that matter. Oh. Yeah, oh, right. Jesus. Right. Holy fuck. <laughs> You, I'm sorry. You, you unearthed this, okay? <laughs> I this, is, this is me now. <laughs> you killed Hold his on. baby. I am an this is, uh, of this the is New York Ed. This is New York Ed. <laughs> All right. Oh, no, this ain't Ed, New York Ed. Ed. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you in timeout for about thirty seconds. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jeff, I'm fine. User was moved out of the okay, thirty seconds and counting down. Oh man! Oh, man, little a man needs to calm all right, down. Let's talk about the Wonder Swan for thirty seconds. All right, guys. The Wonder <laughs> Swan. Swan? Fucking guy, move me! Are you fucking serious? <laughs> <laughs> I put you in timeout for. Th- I told you. It's oh, not hi. like I did it without your knowledge. Jesus. <laughs> uh, I got it. I got the bit. I just yeah, like to you. imagine you just sitting there, fucking. Cursing and screaming at your mic for 30 <laughs> seconds. Uh, if anyone cares, I've been playing Mass Effect. <laughs> no, uh, I wanted to know uh, is it just Tom Mass was Effect? Something, guys, and y'all fucked him. No, just Mass Effect. <laughs> uh, well, actually, while y'all were playing Second Extinction, I was searching through uh, Game Pass and I found out that Octopath Traveler's on there. So mm. I'm going to start oh, that up yeah. again. Oh, nice. Uh, Dude, because I refuse to be play careful. it on the Switch. Uh, <laughs> Why? Well, you wanted to play it on a real console, I guess. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I just re-downloaded Valorant because I need a hardcore competitive shooter in my life. And uh, last week, I played PC Building Simulator for about 25 hours. Oh, wow. PC <laughs> Build Simulator is actually weirder and harder than I expected. Mm-hmm. That's- it's, it's not. It's not fun at a certain point. It just becomes actual work. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. For and the problem is like and and this is my own fault. I didn't really get into building computers until like five six years ago. Yeah. And Shortly after you met us. Maybe, well, a little bit before that. But no, yeah. he's known us for longer than that. But. Whenever you start off in PC Simulator, you only have access to like nine series cards and seven series cards and old, so, and old Radeon cards. I don't know how their model numbers work. And every once no one, one does. Every once in a while, I'd be like, "Upgrade <laughs> this do. computer. This computer needs a better GPU." And I have no idea. And I'd buy just the most expensive one. And it would oh, be no. not more powerful. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> I just wasted all this money and I'm in debt now. The bank is upset at me. Well, the reason you wasted all that money is because you don't shut down your computer down your and turn computer, off the light. lights. I, exactly. No, no. <laughs> Nick told me to turn off the lights and I kept the lights off. I worked in the dark for the rest of my 25 hours. <laughs> uh, and then after that, I built uh, my dream PC in creative mode. And it was very, very large and very expensive so and what you're saying Todd, on. is when you start off the gpu shortage is just like real life right now yeah you can only find nine series cards like, <laughs> like, did you, like 200 dollars? did you build in the razor workshop no <laughs> on i that the I NDXT. Stayed, <laughs> i stayed in my uh humble shop it's really kind of frustrating to play in that workshop in particular because it's just everything is black and green. Black and green, yeah. <laughs> and like you're like, well, I can't do any other color scheme. The most extreme color combination. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
Have, did you uh, maybe change the themes within the the standard workshop? Oh yeah, I, yeah. I changed a little bit of the themes. Uh, and Just then, made it Halloween and then stuck with it. Exactly. You know, that Pretty game much. surprisingly takes up a lot of hard drive space. That game surprisingly has a lot of DLC, and all of it's basically just an advertisement. It really yeah, is. I mean, it one hundred percent. It's the Sims H and M collection DLC. H and M. Now, now, Todd, you bought <laughs> PC Simulator? No. Okay, I did. You, Fit girl. Fit girl. Yeah. So I got a question for you. I'm not buying that shit. <laughs> um, just, I've noticed recently when using her repacks, my uh-huh. CPU will spike. That's because you're Bitcoin mining for. <laughs> I mean, your GPU, GPU spike or your not CPU, CPU? Spike. No, my CPU will spike because the fan revs up to very questionable levels. Um, I've so never had that. <laughs> uh, when uh, her repacks are very CPU intensive. Oh, I know. Just I the know. installer, or are you talking about just like the, the installer? Game? Yeah. Huh. Now you play the, you play the game, it's, and it's perfectly fine. Uh, a lot of people are super happy, by the way, that uh, Subnautica Below Zero has already appeared on that site. I that game looks, play Subnautica. Uh, yeah, I played. No, it. it looks pretty cool though. Yeah, I have it on. It's on Game Pass, and I, um, I want to play it, but man, it I gets through. It gets weird. It gets weird very quickly. You know what I see just was recently added to Game Pass uh-huh. is Remnant from the Ashes. Oh God, no! Oh, that, that is so that is a game. Now man. that is a game. No, <laughs> stop. So I think, I think recently... every episode we're gonna point out one Game Pass game. Is that hey. is that your Game Pass game, Remnant? Wait, uh, when we say point it out, is it just pointing it out or pointing and out? We're gonna uh, recommend to play? one. To play. Oh, I mean, Psychonauts is on there now. Psychonauts, yeah, old game, well, old. <laughs> yeah, old, old, oh, old and game. The, uh, the remastered version of Destroy All Humans is there too. Yep, ooh, ooh. Final yep. Fantasy appeared. Final. Oh yeah, I played that a little bit. Uh, that Doom actually Eternal's on there. Eternal's I... on there. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm so have happy about all... it still. <laughs> have you all experienced um, basically Ooh, uh, subscription fatigue? No. Nope, never. To where you, you kind of... You, let, let, me, let me explain. So basically you load up Game Pass or sure. you load up any subscription service and you're just scrolling endlessly looking for something yes. to oh, fucking install. All the Every time. day of my life. Yeah. yeah. No, because I... I uh, find what I want and I just install it anyway but then it comes to well now what's installed what do I play it's the same thing with my Steam games because I have unlimited internet and like an 8 terabyte hard drive so I just any game that I can download I'll, I will and then I'll just uh, start playing it right off the hard drive now, I don't know it's like I, I'll look for I'll look at a game or I look at so like I'm looking at Game Pass right now, and I look at the stuff that's been added. And I'm like, oh, Remnant, meh. Final Fantasy X to HD Remaster, meh. That's why I was mouth. that's why I was so excited <laughs> for Just Cause Four because I was like, oh, that's actually a game I've wanted to try, and it was so disappointing to load up that oh, game. Outlast Two is on there. Um, I purposely whenever I'm looking at games, like while they were playing the game, I will always limit my search um, to a specific genre. If I have all the choices, I, I'll burn out real fast. So last time I was like RPGs only, and that's how I found Octopath. And then later on, I'll do like shooters, and then I'll do sports. Well, uh, yeah. that, that's what helps me. That's what actually allowed me to find East Shade, and that was actually worth um, downloading for just like a day to play like it, it was just engaging just enough to play throughout the entire thing it's only two gigs um, now i do need everybody to download astroneer <laughs> no That's yeah so so <clears throat> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest with you i tried i think nick and i tried yeah, and i was me, like nope <laughs> it, uh, i mean but, no no yeah no. But see, but see, here's, here's the thing i i'm not I'm not a fan of like survival sim type games 
which this kind of felt almost a little bit too much no, like. No, it definitely was. Yeah. 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 So, so many like confusing punching systems. trees to get fibers to make, <laughs> you know, an axe. You're yeah. Yeah. Punching and, space rocks to make bigger space rocks. I feel, and then I feel like a lot of these games nowadays don't respect the gamer's time. Yeah, so, they, they oh, just yeah. make Definitely. you. They make you just go through all these complicated systems and hoops, and they're like, "Well, if we do it this way, then the game will last longer." Yeah, and I don't. And they can say, "Oh, it's a hundred-hour experience, so why don't you just give us sixty dollars? We're giving you a hundred goddamn hours. It's like a hundred right. hours of bullshit is not it's like, fun, <laughs> and it's not. It's like it's like you're giving me a hundred hours of shit that I have to do. Like and I'm putting in the time for this shit. You're just copy pasting missions that's why like <laughs> east shade for instance was so refreshing because it, it it was just it was just complex enough to where you're like okay there's a little bit of mystery involved and stuff like that but it was so easy to get a hold of very quickly you could beat it in an afternoon if you really wanted to um that's why i enjoyed it so much mm. Now, I will say, based off of that talk of subscriptions causing issues, I did run into an issue this week. Uh, I downloaded a dead game. A Battlefront 2? Uh-huh. I downloaded uh, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2. I still can't get yep. that to load, dude. And the game is so dead with all the players online, I can't even match make a match. Oh, oh wait. Well, um... Because you got it from Game Pass, from right? Game Pass, which is the EA okay. version. I hear the Steam version is more popular. Yeah. But I'm not paying for that. Of course. And uh, I don't understand why PC versus PC is not crossplay. Yeah, that's the problem with a lot of the Game Pass games. Like with Deep Rock, I downloaded that on Steam uh, before it became on Game Pass. And if I want to match make in on the steam version yeah there's a whole bunch of people that that were playing and i was playing with another friend but then on the game pass version did you leave him I, in the dust too no he act, he's actually much 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 better than me that's mm. why I, and when i uh, i would flip between the two because if i couldn't play with you guys then i would play on the steam version but then i just ended up just playing on the steam version so i can carry you guys if needed mm. But uh, yeah, there's it's just a lot of the Windows games they just deal with their own server and it, it is bullshit. I don't like it. Now we we saw Jeff and I played Apex this week, and Jeff invited us from Miguel who plays on console. And the second he realized that it was crossplay, he's like, "Oh, I'm fucked." However, mm-hmm. we did fine. However, the first match we won, um, oh, it worked uh, out. Uh, hold on. Clarify. Arenas. It was arenas. It was uh-huh. not Battle Royale. So yeah, win but we did win. Asterisk. But we did yeah. win. Um, we went a few. Yeah. That's that H-Town magic, baby. <laughs> and, like, it's just, it was interesting because, so first off, he plays significantly more than we ever have. He was level 500. Level 500 had every single conceivable skin, every single hero unlocked. So it's kind of a treat playing with him because, like, you're just seeing all sorts of cool shit that you normally don't get to see, um, like emotes and things like that. But then, like, he he knows every single map very well. I enjoy every once in a while getting sharpened through a game. Like that's how we were first introduced to Michael. He sharpened us through Destiny One. Oh yeah. Granted, oh god. Granted, no matter how good you are, you could not drag us through uh, a raid. Um, <laughs> Todd unless, always... <laughs> it, unless it was one of the ones that could be cheesed and done by yourself. Um, that was the only one we ever finished, which was King's Fall of Destiny One, because that one can be done solo. So I remember finishing that and being so happy. And then we got to the, what was it like? The next one, he was made it us Mars. Play, he made us play Baltic glass, which was the original raid. Yeah. We couldn't do it. Oh, by but the, the way, one Baltic glass came back. It's on destiny two now. Ooh. I was like, Oh, so, the one, the one that killed it for us. though was, was like, it was like, um, 
it was on Mars and we had to like uh, like spa? Was it a spa place? Are you talking about Destiny? You're talking about Destiny 2. That was that in was, 2. That was yeah. uh that was King's of, Rage. I don't remember what it's called, but yeah. It it's was, it's our YouTube video. Yeah, it's, it's, our, it's the YouTube video where I constantly got people killed. It sucked. It's and... like, hey, nobody shoot anybody, and then all of a sudden you just see the shot of Todd shooting people. The greatest mm-hmm. clip Activated. I've ever made was in the beginning <laughs> of that raid, you're walking up a set of stairs, and there are guards on each side of the stairs, and they don't aggro to you unless you shoot at them. <laughs> so I waited until half the team was up the stairs, and I fired at one of them. They instantly killed everybody else. Uh, that makes me happy. But yeah, I'm I'm starting to run into more and more games that are dead. And if Nick is telling me that it's because I have the Game Pass version, it makes me very sad. Because Battlefront 2 is fun if you can get in the game. If you can get it to load. Oh, mine loads fine. Well, mine loads most of the time. So that- as soon as I try to join a match, it just crashes. Mm. Just nice. for, for clarification, I- this is the, the newer Mm-hmm. Battlefront yes. 2. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. No, I would love to play the original. I have no, that one yeah. on Steam. Absolutely. Um, Didn't they recently have that on sale? I think on they did, Steam? yeah. They did. It was also on Epic. It was also for free. free on Epic. It's on uh, EA Play, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's on EA, well, EA Play with Game Pass. And I think that's the problem right now for me is because if you look at my library, and maybe it's the same way, if you look at my library, I have a Battlefront 2 epic version and then i have a battlefront 2 ea game play version which by the way having origin and ea desktop on my computer really pissed oh me off. yeah oh it's garbage no. oh that's All whenever goddamn launchers when kristen and i did it takes two i nearly gave up on it because i'm just like i don't know what else i could do I, i've killed every version of origin on my task manager that i could find what's the problem and you the know? fact that whenever i bought mass effect through origin which was a mistake i thought about that later i was like oh, i should have bought it through steam uh even though i'll launch the game and it'll open ea desktop and i'm like what the fuck like, i didn't even todd, install you through that uh did you not learn anything from cyberpunk <laughs> yeah <laughs> you don't mean? buy I, through their launcher i didn't buy cyberpunk through uh, i know CD that's Project Red. yeah but nick and andrew did i yeah uh, we did oh right. i did that's right i bought it through cd project red I had to give them 100% of the revenue, and I yeah, want some of that, that back. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to need a bit of a refund there. Cyberpunk <laughs> is sitting on my desktop to play. So I'm just like, eh. That's the yeah. other thing. I started um, I started a, a Corpo run yeah, through of that. And I was like, this is actually really cool so far. Like, I was really enjoying the best it. one. And then it got to, like, the same path, like, the main story path. And I just immediately quit after that. I was just like, this, like, I, I couldn't bring myself to keep going for some reason. <laughs> hmm. It really doesn't matter which one you choose. That was yeah, the problem. It's, yeah, it's literally the only difference is the first, like, very beginning. I started in the office <laughs> instead of a bar. <laughs> what? The garage. No, the thing. <laughs> so, with all the new patches and updates, they did change a few things. So, I am playing through a new path as uh in cyberpunk now oh yeah i've i've seen your steam icon light up many times <laughs> <laughs> i mean with yeah. the cyberpunk i started a different path and yeah the game the game after a certain point turns to the same thing but i chose to do every act every action that i took like in the story and in side quests i just did the exact opposite so that's I too much see work. what i do too much work <laughs> mm. I wanted it to be a unique life path for the entire game. Nope. Yeah. Like, um, like that would be cool? so hard. That would be awesome. I mean, but no, think about it like this way, right? So you yeah, have the like your corpo, like how Shut you're up. fucked in the beginning <laughs> of the game. Wouldn't yeah. it be cool if like you could go back and like actually fix all of that? Like that's your end game for that particular life path. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that. that's <laughs> what they pitched and uh, realized that was going to be impossible to do. 
Yeah. That's, what I, that's what I originally wanted to do while I was playing through my Street Kid run. I was like, man, I can't wait to do Corpo, and then I'm just going to be a dick to everybody yeah. because <laughs> uh, Ed was telling me, yeah, once you're Corpo, it's like you loot, you uh, get off the Corpo life path. I was like, yeah, but I'm going to be playing so I can get back on it. I'm going to just make nothing but corporate decisions and fuck everybody else because I want to get back on top. But it wasn't gonna. It didn't turn out like. That. Yeah, yeah. Like, all I was, it does, all I it does, already, it gives you different dialogue on in certain missions. I was already upset. I couldn't sleep with Judy. So like, as a male, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that was the only reason why you do another playthrough. I screwed play myself with... over. I couldn't sleep with Judy. Uh, I never met Alana you, Pierce. The only reason is to bang other per- people. You that never you met. To you never uh, met her. Todd. You have, you have to be a uh, nomad. 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 Todd. Todd. What? Todd. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna tell you right now. It it is very underwhelming. Yeah, wait, you have to be a nomad to to what? See Alana, Alana Pierce. Pierce. Alana Pierce. Which one Actor. was that? Actor. I don't know who she played. Oh, okay. Because yeah. I'm, I'm you... playing Nomad through right now and I I may have missed her. Yeah, it's a no, side quest. No, it's, you you get it. Basically your car um at the very beginning of the game yeah. you lose it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have a quest to get your car back? Yeah, I already got. Oh, is that the chick? Is that that was the chick? Yeah, that was yeah. her. Oh, okay. I, I I have no idea who that was. The Australian. The Australian. We'll say. Yeah. My, I had no idea. Who that was. Yeah. yeah. See, that's that's how memorable it was. I would love to have her job. Uh, oh, at oh, Sony, uh, Santa Monica. She, yeah, she's a writer at Santa Monica now. They're hiring. Well, yeah, they, I did not see like they're Jeff, doing do you a lot. Write? Yeah, he does. I, I do. Oh, I didn't know. He writes Lord of the Rings fan fiction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, We're about to read some that's, right that's now. That's not slash fiction. It's no longer Gandalf the Grey Beard. It's Gandalf the Frosted Beard. Oh. Uh, I've got, I've got mm. about five chapters written of a novel so far. But... Jeff, you do words good? <laughs> <laughs> Better than I speak. That's, true. that's very true. Um, so I was playing Mass Effect Legendary and I was trying to remember like the path that I took. Somebody, I don't remember if it was David or Andrew, was asking if I was doing Paragon or Renegade. I was it was, it was Jim. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying that I couldn't ever figure out how to be a Paragon and keep everybody in the suicide mission in Mass Effect 2. Oh, yeah, you had to level everybody up. Yeah, but at one point there's a fight between Miranda and Jack. That between mm. who? Miranda and Jack, where you lose one of them. You no, 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 no. If you do the dialogue just right, you keep both of them at, at uh, a full. Whatever. I could never get that whenever I was doing Paragon. But if I was a dick and just shooting everyone, they would yeah. stay with me every time. So, well, see, I, and that's I'm going yeah, full dick well, hole. I, I have Paragons, <laughs> uh, Max Paragons, all three stories. And and was able to do the best ending on all. Plus, three. I mean, plus, I mean, you get those cool scars when you're a renegade. I I did like the scar. I liked I liked the Darth Vader look. It was cool. Oh, um, anybody else have any, anything we want to talk about on this? this Pokemon sub- cards. Oh yeah. Pokemon oh yeah. We're cards. supposed to talk about Pokemon cards. <laughs> he's waiting. Oh, yeah. He's been Seven. waiting. <laughs> yes. Pokemon cards and all collectible cards are gone. Yes. Kevin, yes. I have to ask. Yes, Todd. Do you play the card game? No, I do not. So is it strictly oh collecting? God, it's it's just collecting the cards. I've ever heard. It, it's collecting because, Funko uh, Pop going to release it's like a, Kevin had yeah. a card game. Childhood and, I did not uh, have a childhood. His daddy wouldn't buy him enough booster cards. <laughs> no, uh, which is why he wants to collect them now. It's, it's, it's not it's, that. It's regressing. It's I, I found out a way to get them cheaply, and I'm taking them from advantage children? of that. No. <laughs> have you gotten uh, Rainbow Charizard yet? No, I haven't gotten the Rainbow Charizard. It all started with the fat Pikachu. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay. It all started with me watching, me, uh, of course, me watching TikToks and spending way too much time on there. Uh, oh, the guy that creased the shit out of that fat Pikachu? <laughs> I did not see that. You know. <laughs> uh, but in it all started with Vivid Voltage, which is the PAX. Um, there's a secret ultra rare that's a rainbow fat Pikachu. Okay. Um, I want, that's my end goal in the, in the 
in that pack, there's also a regular fat Pikachu as well. And I've gotten one of those. And hang on, I'll put it in Slack. But I have three cards that I've gotten so far that are like my favorite that I have set up on my dresser. Bro, just how print much them have out. you spent so far? I don't want to talk about that. Uh, Biden <laughs> definitely provided like, some. Uh, oh, Daddy my Joe. God. Oh no! <laughs> Joe, um, it stimulates the, the economy. Yeah, <laughs> the um, Japanese the economy. Brother and I, <laughs> my brother and I have really gotten into it. My brother more so than me because he has a lot of expendable income at the moment. Um, he spent way more than I have because I buy stuff like you know a booster pack here and there and some special tins and stuff like that. And then like one or two, there's elite trainer boxes, which are the big boxes, not big, big boxes. What he's not telling you is some of these trainer boxes and tins cost anywhere from upwards of $50. Okay. Uh, No, Uh, I wish they cost $50 retail. Um, I have maximum (laughs) spent $77 on elite trainer box that retails for 50, but I (laughs) could turn around. I bought on $30 right now. I'm not going to do that because I like it's it's again a fat Pikachu box, um, and then it's like there are certain things that I could get a hold of that people can't, and it's like if I could if I wanted to I could turn around and resell it for a lot, but for me it's more the collecting aspect than it is the resell aspect. Let which, me ask you: Do you frame them? I don't frame them, no. But all the expensive cards, so the Pikachu's worth. Was at the time when I pulled it worth uh, forty. The Lapras to the right is worth twenty, and the Ditto to the left is worth another twenty. Just by the cards themselves, without being graded or anything. Uh, I at one point put too much in there and everything, and I've cut back on what isn't worth a lot. I'll just put in like a plastic sleeve. They're stupid cheap. Um, what those are in are called top loaders, which are like plastic protectors. Um, but like in David's instance, happy that, uh, they're no longer selling these in stores due to an incident of some dumbass in where was it somewhere up North. It wasn't even, it wasn't even, it was in a state that I was like, or either getting an argument or getting, tried to get robbed or something. In the in the middle of a parking lot over trading cards, and the problem is it's not even Pokemon that's the worst part. It's the sports ones, the the football, the baseball, the basketball, all those cards. Like this Pokemon makes Pokemon look like a freaking eh. joke. <laughs> eh. huh? What do you mean? Eh? <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> over there? What? What? The fuck? <laughs> what? That's so not. Yes, it is. All right. So, specifically, <laughs> what part wasn't yes. true? Yeah. What part I wasn't know, yeah, true? Like, I'm okay. Like... All right. All right. All right. All right. So, how how long have we been doing sports cards, like collecting and stuff like that? Fucking oh, decades. Okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. That part. Okay. De- decades. Right? Yes. Yeah. Same thing. Right, I'll stop. I'll stop. Well, no, what? no, 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 Anybody that's out there that, that sells these things, nobody's nobody's pulling guns on anybody's for sports cards. Yeah, let's see. Uh, um, for the record, it was shop- in Milwaukee. Yeah. Last week, a shopper leaving a Target store in Wisconsin was attacked by three men in the parking lot, leading the victims to pull out his gun and neighboring stores to impose momentary lockdowns. No shots were fired, and the victims suffered only minor injuries. Uh, this is from CBS News. Uh, yeah. Because of I mean, that. you're not wrong. There are there are strong collector collectors like like I mean, sorry, uh, resellers trying to get baseball and basketball cards, but it's yeah. mostly just resellers trying to find that magic card. They are magic not magic card. It's a, uh, no, the, a magical the, card. The black like, that, yeah. like yeah, there's a few that are. They are cards. annoying. Let me let me um, say they are annoying. But the people. worst that they are are, are absolutely annoying. Um, most of them are docile teenagers. 
uh, trying to make a buck. Um, it's very rarely you know, like full grown adults. Uh, it's the Pokemon cards that are causing the biggest issue right now um, because uh, I. Work for a retail store that actively sold these competitor, uh, where they were, uh, uh, you know, not necessarily assaulted, but but she feared for she feared it being assaulted, and um, it was over Pokemon cards. So, you yeah, know, that, that's that's the experience that I've had with it. Unfortunately, uh, yeah. So it may be. But from what I've seen on, I'm on a Discord with all this stuff and everything. So of course you it's are. just well, of course <laughs> the Pokemon guys would be putting the blame onto other people. Well, so. no, they're not putting the blame. It's just like they're they're going and getting these collectible cards, like the sports memorabilia ones, to exchange them for Pokemon stuff. Right, and but, it's I, just crazy. But no, I can I can see where some people get way out of hand, and it's unacceptable. My like problem me. is uh-huh. my problem is the fact that these are grown ass adults fighting for let's let's be real mm-hmm. pieces of paper yes. that have no Just intrinsic them, value. <laughs> card stock th- for a <laughs> trading card game that they're not actually playing. So it's not that. Wasn't it's it? The, uh-huh. Wasn't it not too long ago that? People were buying out kids' Happy Meals just yes. for getting oh, cards yeah. as well. Yeah. They it were was doing really oh, nice. of hundreds of Happy Meals because they oh. could get three cards. And yeah. the worst um, part about that is they were throwing the food away and everything. Yeah, Jeff did that. No, I, what <laughs> I did was is I would go to each McDonald's. Um, and I, did, I think we only did it for like a week. We didn't do like every single day e- even. About seven days too many. <laughs> okay. So basically, we would hit up McDonald's. We'd ask, "Hey, are we able to purchase the Happy Meal toy separate?" And they'd be like, "Well, it's a maximum of three. I'll say, okay, that's fine. I'll take three. Um, I never fought with employees. I never yelled at employees. Um, there was many instances where people would try to. Uh, there's McDonald's employees that are actually taking the entire box home and selling it on eBay. Yeah, Good for them. Good well, for um, them. why? Why, Jim? Why well, well, good for them? I mean, McDonald's ain't gonna pay him a good wage. Oh. It works. Why they can't keep some but, toys? Uh, but that's taken I mean, away from that's you're taken from, away from steal Jeff from the overlord. His, mm. You're taken away from Jeff though, because he could have bought those cards. No, my thing <laughs> is like you say, good for them, and I get it. You're obviously your veganism. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jim. I had totally. To. <laughs> mm-hmm. No, damn uh, vegans and their. I know. Well, and their it's stock like, vegans. I know, man. Racist. I know. You know well, yeah, Jim could be you, eating those Pokemon cards <laughs> instead of I mean, I taking them home. I mean, is Ivysaur a real, you know, animal, or is it mostly a plant? These are yes. The questions. It's a, it's a yes, pet. is the answer. <laughs> Well, I mean, because this is not this is not like a new thing for me with Pokemon. Back when they when it first came out, it was kind of the same yeah uh, thing. Like I actually remember, um, I had a friend who like when it first came out, I asked my mom, you know, can we go to the Walmart to try <laughs> to find these things? And unfortunately, like it just was sold out everywhere. But my friend was able to go to Toys R Us, like I don't know, two cities over. And was able to get a booster pack. So, it's like two thousand, like that era. No, this is was way before that. No, like this 96. is like ninety six. Yeah, ninety six, oh, ninety seven. Okay. So basically, I asked him to go, you know, grab <laughs> one for me. <laughs> um, That's so funny to me. I I knew nobody. I didn't even learn about Pokemon until June, and that was like two thousands. Really? I, I learned about Pokemon in the what fifth grade, dude. Yeah. Even, huh? I learned about Pokemon in the fifth grade, dude. What the hell? You're like a year I, older I, than I me. Nobody, nobody I knew played it. Nobody I knew watched it. Nobody I knew did anything involved did you, in Pokemon. Did you know, know anybody? <laughs> until junior high. No, man, I had tons of friends. I, I was always at Discovery Zone at somebody's party. 
At who? Yeah, they weren't good friends, though. Well, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. David, do you not know what Discovery Zone is? I remember now. I know. Okay. I, I, yeah. Do I, I got the retrospects episode for Discovery you? <laughs> no, oh. no, I'm good. I don't need to remember the vomit and uh, bad games. No, it's Here's the problem, the though, like, with, yeah, with these booster packs. Cute, but... Here's the problem with these booster packs, though. Like, they exist. They were very popular back yes. then. The very first booster pack I actually got was already opened. <gasps> oh, that's so oh. cute. All the value's gone. No, no it's just... There's no, a good card picked out. through. Yeah, the potential picked card through. that would have been picked out. Your Charizard I, was in there. I am 100% convinced there was a Charizard in there. To I'm this telling day. you. So, um, did you do the thing where you flip three cards down and then you put it in the back and then you start pulling? like a... Todd, Todd is four cards. Nobody gives a fuck. That's um, the point. <laughs> well, real quick, real quick. Has anybody ever seen the... Uh, and I'm sure it's fake. It's gotta be fake. Has anybody seen the episode of Pawn Stars where the guy has like... All the Charizards? 300 like Charizards? Yes. No, I've oh. seen it. It's real. <laughs> he, yeah. He, so, I, you, know, I, you know, that show is, you know, what's real or fake on that show. Gotta but bring in my Pokemon has, expert. Like, a couple of, yeah, they brought in a Pokemon expert. He literally had a couple hundred yeah. uh, copies of, of Charizard. Drooling? Yeah. Yeah, he was freaking out. It, I think the clip on YouTube. I'm sure it's like it's like a 10 minute clip. Yeah, it, yeah, I've seen it before. I mean, that show is very staged because they literally had the yeah. lead singer of A Day to Remember but I think pawning the people, his like, own guitar. Audition, like, yeah, yeah. They, I, I, and I think, but I think the people audition to be like, here's, hey, this is who I am. Here's what I have. Yes, that's say, hey, we'll fly you out. But I assume it is. Has anyone been to that shop? No, I don't. I, 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 it, though, right? David has. Yes, it's it's complete bullshit, right? Because um, like it, the, the 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 shop is actually very much real that they that they that they photo or video in, so it looks exactly like what you see. Is it tiny? Um, it looks tiny. No, it's huge. It's fucking huge. Oh, it's huge. Okay, it's okay. fucking huge. Um, they put like like what you see is like like a small like corner of this of the of the shop. Uh, it's 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 a huge shop, and okay. uh, there's like dozens of employees. Looks like um, Kevin's dad. <laughs> well, oh. uh, so but like i've never actually saw the stars so i have never actually seen oh yeah uh working <laughs> so i can't tell you if i actually went to the right place <laughs> well did you go to the place that's hardcore pawn no. <laughs> oh, oh that's, a, oh, that's <laughs> awesome wow that's like oh. Detroit. that's like Baltimore. oh, oh. it's like in detroit or something wait Oh, it's hold Detroit. on! Okay. You guys don't. That's an actual show. Yeah, yeah. I know. Oh, I yeah. With the, that's why with we the, groaned. The, oh, it's hilarious. With the dude with the leather jacket with the nice mustache. Yeah, uh-huh. and the mullet. Nice. Yeah. And and the yeah. ponytail. Yeah, yeah. The I only person that, that has a better mustache than him is Omni Man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we don't, uh, we don't talk about Omni Man. We're about to after the show ends. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes. I want. I want to end this show because we think we might be killing our TeamSpeak server as we talk because uh, it's been cutting in and out the entire time. And oh. I just wanted to have this episode just as a welcome back for Press Start Gaming version 2. Uh, so for David, wow. Jim, Jeff, uh, Kevin, Ed, wow. Andrew, Nick, Justin, if he ever decides to show up for a podcast, Michael, if he ever decides to show up for a podcast, have a good night. <laughs> Nobody wants to talk about getting pegged by Lady D. Nobody has the game. Already been talking about that.